Hello YouTube, my name is Nero and today we have some Call of Duty Black Ops 3 playing a bit of Kill Confirmed here on the map Combine here in Combine of Duty Black Ops 3. But as you guys can see, I uh, spawned in here just a little bit late so there's already people here on the left side but between my shotgun, my grenade and the help of this guy right here, all of them are now dead and I was able to come up here and grab all these tags and catch this guy coming off the wall and now I've got four tags. That really just uh, sets the tone for the rest of the game I think because I end up getting a lot of kills in this gameplay, I end up confirming a lot of tags and calling in a lot of score streaks and just having a lot of fun right around here with the Brecky shot. Gun. So this gun's amazing. I think I've talked about it before. I think I've talked about it multiple times, in fact. But this is one of those guns that if you guys haven't tried out yet, I highly recommend it because it's probably the best shotgun here in Black Ops 3. I'm not even kidding. It's a semi-automatic, but still, I think it's probably the best shotgun in Black Ops 3. It is not going to be a one-hit kill. It's typically going to be a two-hit kill. I think right here, no, I end up getting that kill right there. There's going to be another example in that exact same area where I have difficulty killing somebody later on. But uh, you're going to find that it's not guaranteed to be even be like a two-hit kill sometimes. Like right there, I go up there and try shooting the guy. You think I'd be able to get the kill on him, but I don't. So sometimes it's a little bit inconsistent it feels but overall it's one of the best shotguns in the game you just literally spam through people it's amazing like if you uh, and some people don't like this comparison but if you remember like the striker back from Modern Warfare 3 that's what the brecky feels like but I'm running around here with that today uh, trying to get some headshots with it unfortunately and I know there's some people out there who uh, are really are really helpful honestly I love you guys you guys are so helpful in the comments whenever I ask for any of advice whatsoever like I was having trouble getting long shots of my assault rifles and people are like oh no you need to run a silencer and run this specific site and I'll make it so you get long shots a little bit easier and you guys are really good with that kind of stuff so I was mentioning the idea of uh, getting headshots with shotguns how I'm having a lot of difficulty doing that apparently the uh, go-to tactic I suppose for trying to get headshots on your shotguns if you guys don't know to acquire gold camo on the 205 brecky here as well as the haymaker you actually need to get headshots rather than one shot kills like you do with the Argus or with the KRM 262 the best way to do that is to go play hardcore but here's the thing guys I just I don't like hardcore a whole lot and I'm just gonna get these headshots on these shotguns as I get them I'm not specifically going to be going for them or anything like that and there's a lot of people out there especially here on youtube or even just in the comments of my videos even on twitter and stuff like that people send me and hey, we got a nice little streak right there as i for a reason pull out a frag grenade but still end up picking up four kills right there uh there's a lot of you guys out there that already have dark matter camo i'm sitting there thinking to myself like that is nuts that is nuts we were halfway through january and you guys already have dark matter camo there's already a bunch of you guys that have dark matter camo i'm definitely playing the long game i think with black ops 3 because there's people out there who already have almost like 10 days of play time there's people out there who already are prestige master already have dark matter camo and so on and so forth and just for me I just can't do it guys I can't continue to play just one game non-stop that long and uh, I feel so like aren't you guys like burn out on the game at that point like how do you still like enjoy playing Black Ops 3 knowing that you know you're like the max rank in the game even though they upped it till you can get prestige master level 1000 uh, how do you enjoy the game like being already prestige master and already having like every single camo thing unlocked like one of the things that's always made Call of Duty fun for me was the was the idea of progression and trying to unlock things you know I've been known to level up pretty quickly in the past I think you know back during uh, Modern Warfare Warfare 3 back during uh, Call of Duty Black Ops 2 like I was Prestige Master or 10th Prestige or whatever by Christmas in both of those games like I would just power grind through all the levels but what always kind of kept me going was the idea that I could continue to work on weapon challenges and stuff like that and just have little tiny things like that to go for and to challenge myself with and you know just to enjoy and that's what I'm doing here with Black Ops 3 like I'm still working on Diamond of Sorry as I said I've been working on them for a while now I have all of them done except for the Shiva which is almost done I'm getting close to finishing up the Shiva the HVK is about halfway there and and the XR2, guys. I just, I hate that gun now. I don't know why. I loved it when the game first came out. But it's like, compared to the M8, it's so inconsistent. I'm having a lot of difficulty uh, doing well with that particular weapon. It just, I don't know, guys. It's just, it, I expect it to one burst people and to melt people easily like the M8 does. And it doesn't. And it's like, well, okay, then. <laughs> so I have trouble with that. But yeah, I'm getting close to down with the Star Rifles. But by no means am I trying to, like, speed along the process. By no means am I going to specific game modes or, you know, doing specific things to try and get these challenges out of the way very quickly. Because if there's one thing... That I've learned over the course of the past couple of years in regards to the development that we see from Infinity Ward or Sledgehammer games is that you may not enjoy those games. I feel as though Infinity Ward and Sledgehammer may be very hit or miss and so who knows if Infinity Ward's game next year is actually going to be any good. And If it's one of those games and regardless of like your opinion on whether or not you thought Call of Duty Ghost was good or whether you thought Modern Warfare 3 was good because everybody feels differently, right? But regardless of what you thought, if the game isn't good, then you're probably going to come back to Black Ops 3 because I think a lot of us here 
to play Black Ops 3 and like Black Ops 3. So it may be another two-year game. It may be another three-year game like Black Ops 2 was. And the last thing I want to do is like burn through and like have everything like done already and stuff like that and just have nothing left to work for and get burnt out on what might be the only good Call of Duty game to come for a number of years. You always got to plan for that, I think. You always got to plan a little bit in the future. I'm not trying to be uh, pessimistic and say, oh, no, the Infinity War game's going to be terrible or, or the new Sledgehammer game's going to be terrible because they could be great. They could be great. I'm just saying this is a good game and I really like it. And with Black Ops 2, you know, that was a game that people were playing for two, three years, you know, before uh, Black Ops 3 came out. And then they moved on to that game. They, they would try out the new one. And then they would decide, like, ah, this new game isn't for me. I'm going to go back to Black Ops 2 because I like that more. And we may have the same situation here in Black Ops 3. So that's what I'm doing. For me personally, I'm just going slow with it. I'm taking my time with it. I'm in no real hurry to uh, get Dark Matter. I'm in no real hurry to get to Prestige Master. Although, with the addition of uh, the, the the ranks that we are going to be getting to Prestige Master, like if you get to Prestige Master at level 100, you then unlock the first Prestige logo from Black Ops 2, Black Ops 1, and World at War. I love the idea of having World at War Prestige icons again, because that was like the first Call of Duty that I ever, ever really got super into. It was the first time that I hit uh, 10th Prestige, was in World at War, and I would love to be able to rock that 10th Prestige logo again. That would be so much fun, and uh, you don't see a lot of Prestige Masters, at least I don't see a lot of Prestige Masters now, but there are some of them that I'm running to in my games, and when I see them, I see these people running like the World at War first Prestige logo, I'm like, ah, oh, I want that, I remember that, so even then, it's like, alright, well now I want to start like power grinding levels and whatnot, you know, but the thing is, like, what I feel is like the best way to level up in Black Ops 3 is just to play Kill Confirmed, which is my favorite game mode, it's a game mode I play the most of, it's the reason why I play Kill Confirmed, and I've kind of made the transition from like a ground war domination player to more of a Kill Confirmed player, is because I play with less friends now, like I don't have like Team SB, like if you guys wonder, my name's SB Nero, because I used to be in a, a group of friends, we all call ourselves Team SB, you know, and we would always have like nine people on any given time, and we'd always play together, but since there's like nobody left in Team SB besides like Cypher, <laughs> and, my, and my brother I'll play with occasionally and stuff like that, uh, I play with less people, and I found that playing Domination is kind of difficult if you don't have a party, because without a party, like it's hard to control the map, it's hard to control the B flag, and just, if you're going up like against a group of people in Domination, and you're like one person, I, I find it's difficult to really try to control the match, whereas in Kill Confirmed, I feel as though I can carry better in Kill Confirmed, if that makes sense, like I feel as though I am, I do better in Kill Confirmed, because the better I do, and more it's going to help my team, whereas Domination, you know, I can go, uh, I'll make up a number like 50 and 10 or something like that, and still we end up losing, even though, you know, I had most captures, I had most defense, I had a bunch of kills, I had at least, I had a small amount of deaths, you know, I was putting up UABs and stuff like that, you know, we still ended up losing, whereas in Kill Confirm, it doesn't really happen, because the more kills I get, there are more tags are out there on the ground, people naturally gravitate towards those tags, or at least they should, and I confirm tags myself, and just, I like Kill Confirm, there's something about it, there's also something about the, the satisfaction I get every time I confirm a tag, like, it, it's amazing, I love just running up and grabbing tags, or if you kill, like, three people or something like that, or four, like, we had it to very beginning of the match, where there's just all these tags everywhere. There's something about just going tag, 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 and you know, just grabbing them all. I just, I, it's one of my favorite game modes. I get score streaks pretty consistently. It's, it's a lot of fun. And using a shotgun and kill confirmed. If you guys don't know, here's a quick tip: using a shotgun and kill confirmed is pretty freaking amazing because most of the kills that you'll get with your shotgun. You're gonna be able to confirm them because you're gonna be in like bad breath distance with that person already, but not always. You know, you see, I got. Uh, 40 kills and 27 confirms there because you know some kills were with kill streaks you know some kills they were a little bit out of range some kills I ended up dying trying to get to and so on and so forth but if you're using a shotgun or especially if you're using a knife I mean obviously you're gonna confirm all of your kills if you're using a knife but if you're using a shotgun you will confirm a lot of your kills. It's actually one of the best uh, weapons to run in Kill Confirmed if it works for that map. You know, not every map obviously is going to work with a shotgun, but we're here playing on Combine, which is a very popular map, and a lot of the time you'll find that a shotgun can work out pretty well here on the map Combine. So that's going to conclude today's video using the 205 Brecky. Once again, if you guys haven't tried out that weapon, I would highly recommend it. It's one of my favorite guns. I've actually been experimenting with a couple of other guns, uh, particularly the Razorback as of late. And I think I'm going to do another video talking about the Razorback and my thoughts and opinions towards that because the Razorback Razorback is freaking awesome. Like, it was so OP during the beta. Then they nerfed it, and then they put it here in the live game, then they buffed it, then they nerfed it. They've been messing around with the Razorback a lot, but where the Razorback is now, I think it's a pretty awesome gun, and we'll be talking about that in a future video. Well, ladies and gentlemen, once again, I hope you guys all enjoyed this video. And if you did, drop me a rating. I hope you guys all have a wonderful day.